Hey, how's it going? Good to have you back to my alternate start Live Another Life series. So we've managed to make it to Winterhold and join the college and that means we've got a lovely shiny room uh, to base ourselves from. But we're still level one and as weak as a weak thing. So there's no better way to sort that out than using Atronax. So it's off to the Atronax Forge for Tareen. Okay, here we are in a nice, lovely, little, shiny new room. Um, this is obviously modded, and yours may be slightly different to this, so, uh, but it doesn't matter. Still, an excellent thing to get early on in the game. It's a real good place to uh, have a base, uh, at least initially, anyway. Right, so uh, last I did one of these, and it was um, a bit longer. So parts of these here has been kind of going back on uh, some things which I've done walkthroughs on, but I did pretty badly in the past, so. Uh, just trying to make them a little bit quicker, a little bit smoother and easy to digest. So anyway, what we do is we pop down into the midden. Now we're going to come up against a nice wraith and these boys can one-shot you. So I've been lucky, I've got a um, flame atronax uh, tome. And I've got a, a staff of fire bolts which I picked up off the ship before I got wrecked. Now uh, Ice Wraith hate flame. And sometimes there's a drogger down here, so better go and check. Not a drogger, a skeleton. Okay, there's not one this time. And I won't be coming back up into the part of the, uh, the midden, so we're not going to worry about that. So, head down here. I've never ever done this at this level before. So I'm not sure what's going to happen. Okay, what we do, we're popping old flamey. Okay, and hopefully, come on, that's in range, why does it keep on? Okay, right. Now hopefully the Ice Wrath will concentrate on flamey. Yep, he's gone for flamey. All right, let's pull out my flames and my bolt. And there he is. Between the three of us, or the two of us, and the. Oh, he's just staying there. I'm happy enough with that. I'll take that. And job done. Right, that's the easy bit done. Right, now to do this, what you're going to need are the following ingredients for a flame atronac. You want a broom, fire salts, corundum ingot or ore, a soul gem greater or better. A frost, you want a broom, frost salts, refined moonstone or soul gem greater or better. And a storm atronac, you want a broom, voice salts, a rickalcum ingot and or soul gem greater or better. Now for the flame and frost, uh, most of the ingredients you'll find around the uh, college, but you'll have to hunt around for corundum and uh, refined moonstone. The storm atronac is slightly more difficult. Um, the voice salts are quite rare. So as you can see, you've got fire salts of broom here, so you can straight away come down and get a, a flame once you've got your corundum. Okay, just a little check round, see if there's anything else we're worth looting. There's a broom there for you. So at the very least, you can, should be able to get a uh, flame out track pretty quickly. Okay, so all you do now is pop the ingredients in into the forge. And you can pause the video if you actually want to get a list on the uh, whatever ingredients you need. My older video goes into the Atronax in a lot more detail, um, so y you might want to catch that. Okay, so once they're all in, just use the pull bar, and you got yourself a nice shiny staff. Ever so handy when you when you're at a low level. I mean, I use Conjuration in all my builds, so I like it. Okay, same old thing, same old, same old. Just throw all the, all the ingredients into the, uh, the forge. And great salt gem. And a frost saturn egg. And last but not least, we can go for the Storm Atronach. Now, out of all the three of them, the, this is the one that I would choose. Generally speaking, it's, it's the most useful. Very few things got of um, a resistance to uh, shock damage. So I, I think it's good and it's quite hardy and it's quite mobile as well. So this is one, if you could, if you have, have to have to choose one, this is one I'd probably go for. Okay, so 
Here you go. Start a frame at track. Let's pop the little beauty out there. So if, anyway, if you're even if you're a warrior class or whatever class you are, it's dead handy to have these things on your side, um, especially at a, a very low level. Uh, they give you the backup. They can distract your enemies and they can pull you out of a real tight uh, squeeze. So there you go. It's Stormy. Like I say, you've got the choice of all three. I would go for Stormy, but you make your own call. That's it, guys. Job done. Let's get the hell out of here. Yeah, I wanted to get these because uh, next video we're heading off to Riften to join the Thieves Guild, and it's the one thing that everybody should do. One, it's the best quest in the uh, in the game, in my opinion. And secondly, once you complete that quest, you've got limitless wealth in when you actually get access to all of the Thieves caches. So anyway, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Catch you next time. Later. I hope you enjoyed this video, if you did, please leave a like, leave a comment and please do subscribe. If you'd like to see more videos like this, then push the bell next to the subscribe button after you subscribe, obviously. Later.